Hi! In this lesson, we are going to pull together all of the Python techniques we have learned thus far in order to create a powerful, automated factoring program. Let's look back at the last program we used to find the options to bag our jawbreakers. We used an if statement and the modulus to print out information only if the calculation candy count divided by bag count resulted in no remainder or no leftover jawbreakers. And this was super helpful. The problem was that we had to manually update the bag count each time. Right now we have one bag, updated two bags and run, then three bags, four bags, etc. It would take a long time to check all of the possible options. And that's why for loops are super important. They can loop through all of the bag options for us. Here we set up a simple for loop where I am assigning the value of i to the variable bag count. The issue here is that when I run this, i starts at zero. So bag count starts at zero. We want the bag count to start at one, however. It's an easy fix. We can just add one to i. So the bag count will start at one now. When I run this, you can see that when i starts at zero, bag count will now equal one. As we iterate through the loop, you'll see the bag count increase with each cycle, etc. Now that this for loop will be generating our bag options, let's add our modulus program. If candy count mod bag count is equal to zero, let's print the bag count and the jawbreakers per bag with a blank line following. We're going to keep track of the values of i and bag count to help understand how this all works. All right, so let's start the loop. So i is equal to zero, and we're gonna enter the loop, and now bag count is equal to one. And since candy count divided by bag count, which is one, has no remainder, we're gonna print all the statements. Now we go back to the top of the loop, and i increases to one. Bag count is now two. Again, this calculation will not have a remainder, so all the print statements will run. We return to the top, and i becomes two, bag count is now three, 56 divided by 3, the current bag count, will result in a remainder. This condition is false, therefore, and print statements will not run. So we go back to the top and i becomes 3, bag count becomes 4, and so on. We can have this process repeat through all of the options, only printing information if the particular bag count is a factor. What do we set as the max possible bags, though? Obviously, if there is only 56 jawbreakers, we don't need to check a bag count equaling 100. In fact, if we have 56 jawbreakers, the most we can divide that up is by putting one jawbreaker in each bag. So 56, the value of the total candy count, would be the most bags we would need. Therefore, we can put the candy count variable in the range function to set how many times this loop should run. This loop will, will proceed as before, creating bag counts from one all the way up to the total amount of candy. And there you go. Let's head over to the live editor to see the full impact of what we have developed. At this point, you've seen most of these elements, so let's get right to it. We're gonna create our candy count variable and set it equal to 56. Then we're gonna set up our for loop, so for i in range, and then we'll use that candy count variable to loop 56 times. Our bag count will set equal to i plus one because i starts at zero. Then here's our if statement. If candy count mod bag count is equal to zero. And then I'm gonna type all of these print statements quickly because we've seen them many times now. So we're gonna print the bag count and the number of jawbreakers per bag. Then let's go ahead and run this and see all the different options that uh, our program We'll find. Okay, so we scroll up. So we know that one, two, four, and seven, uh, those we've seen before, but also eight bags, 14 bags, 28 bags, and 56 bags, those are all options for us, which might have been hard to find without having that for loop uh, automate this process. What if we switch it to 188? So some number we haven't analyzed at all, and we see our options, we have one bag, two bags, four bags, 47 bags, 94 bags, and 188 bags. So we could have gone manually and updated bag count 
1 to 188 to test all our options, but that's where this program is amazing. It looped through all of our options up through 188. If bag count divided candy count evenly, it printed out that option. So our final result, we could see all of the different options uh, that will divide the job breakers evenly. Amazing.